So I've owned my C6 Corvette for over half a year now. And in that amount of time, I've managed to put over 10,000 miles on it. In this video, I'm gonna go over my experience as an owner of a C6 Corvette. I'm also going to cover the good, the bad. I have a rattle over here that I did not have before, that I have now. And come to a conclusion on whether I recommend owning one yourself. Starting with the good. There is a lot to cover here, so I'm only gonna touch on the main things. First is reliability. I can happily report that the car hasn't left me stranded on the side of the road. In fact, mechanically, my C6 Corvette hasn't had a single issue. Maintenance costs have also been relatively low. As far as maintenance, it's had the oil changed three times and its transmission oil changed once as well. Over those 10,000 miles, I've also replaced the spark plugs and the wires. So all said and done, the car has cost me around $500 to maintain. And that's not bad for a vehicle that's been put through over 10,000 miles and some track days. Next, I wanted to touch on the powertrain. I can't stress enough how good the transmission is. As some of you may know, it's a TR6060 transmission in these cars. And mine still even has the stock shifter assembly. Even though everything's stock, it still feels precise when you're going through gears and it shifts like butter. The 6.2 liter hand-built dry sump LS3 powering my Grand Sport also hasn't missed a beat. In fact, on the dyno, we saw my car put down over 432 horsepower to the wheels with just an intake and headers. Here is my torque and my power curve here. As you can see, the power does not taper off. So the final horsepower reading for the C6 Grand Sport was 431.8 wheel horsepower and 403.4 wheel torque. Even as it sits, it regularly steals the souls of coyotes and has even run door to door with cars making much more power than it. Personally, I can't wait to put a big cam in it, and that will be coming very soon to this channel. The design and functionality of a Corvette can't be overlooked, and I've really fallen in love with the C6 platform as well. It's aged beautifully over the years, and I still believe you can't buy a better looking car for the money. It's also a great road trip car, or even a daily driver. The hatch has plenty of space in the rear for luggage. It's also very comfortable and stable at speed, all while getting great gas mileage. And you can't forget about that removable targa top, which adds to the experience, especially when you're cruising through the canyons. Ultimately, the C6 Corvette is a driver's car that you can't get enough of. Hence, that's probably why I put over 10,000 miles on it in just six months, while working at home the majority of the time. Before we get to the bad experiences I've had with the car, we need to have a chat about something. I've recently obtained my first ever channel sponsor. Now I've had more than several sponsors reach out to me, but if I wanted to take the time to show off a product, I'd want it to be a product I'd actually use. That's why I was super excited when Simply Carbon Fiber reached out to me. This right here is their beautiful carbon fiber wallet clip. You can really feel and see both the quality in this product. The finish of the carbon fiber is super deep and glossy. It's also a super convenient wallet to have around. It's so convenient, in fact, that I actually keep it in my pocket when I drive. Whenever I actually drive my car anywhere, I always take my wallet out of my pocket because I hate sitting on it. But thanks to the razor thin profile of this wallet, 
I have no issues keeping it in my pocket. It even has a super convenient money clip as well for all the cash that you may have on you. I've had many friends and coworkers compliment me whenever I actually take my wallet out. If you wanna pick up one of these for yourself or any other of their very cool carbon fiber products on their website, I have a discount code for you. Use code CAM10, it will save you 10% off of any product on their website and I highly recommend all of them. In fact, I'll probably be picking up a pair of their carbon fiber glasses soon. They're very cool. Thank you again to Simply Carbon Fiber for sponsoring this video and also being my first sponsor. Okay, back to some of the bad things about my C6 Corvette. Honestly, I really don't have a lot of bad things to say about this car, so some of it might feel like I'm nitpicking. So far, my biggest complaint with my C6 Corvette is working on it. For an American car, some of the simple jobs are way more complicated than they should be. For example, just changing out the axle back exhaust was a pain in the butt. The sway bar has to be removed and the car needs to be very high in the air just to remove the factory exhaust after you somehow manage to snake it over the axle. And if you need anything cut or fitted, there's not a whole lot of shops that will even help you out. So I did want to say a big thanks to Roscoe at Wicked Wrenches AZ for helping me out with my C6 Corvette. Now this isn't a big deal to me, but it could be a deal breaker for some of you. The interior of the C6 Corvette does not match the sticker price of the car when it's brand new. My Grand Sport was nearly $70,000 brand new. And there's cars out today that are under $20,000 with a nicer interior. It's not even that it's retro. Apart from the gauge cluster, everything in that Corvette has aged poorly. So you might wanna do some updating if you plan on buying one. Then there's the overall build quality of the car. Like I've said, the car has been extremely reliable, but build quality and reliability are two different beasts. There are several annoying pieces on a C6 Corvette which are known to have issues. One of them being are the front bumper clips. They're known to break and they need replacement regularly. And there are several areas inside of the car that can squeak and rattle when you're driving along. Having a rattle inside my car drives me nuts. Now they can be addressed easily, but it's still very annoying to deal with in the first place. So coming to a conclusion after owning a C6 for over six months and 10,000 miles, this is what I can say so far. I really truly cannot recommend a C6 Corvette enough. There's a reason I've put so many miles on this car in such a short period of time. I also believe there's not a better car you can buy for the money. So ultimately, that's why I'm fully committed to this platform. I have a bunch of future plans and ideas for my C6 Corvette. So make sure you subscribe down below to follow along with the build. And also, if you are familiar, leave some suggestions for a good camshaft on these cars, as I will probably take that in consideration when shopping for a new camshaft for my car. I do already have one in mind and I don't wanna spoil it, so that will be in a future video. I wanted to thank you guys for watching and leaving a like on this video. I apologize for the delay in this upload. I was sick for about two weeks and I'd actually lost my voice. So I'm glad I can bless YouTube with my sexy voice again. That'll be all for now. I'll catch you boys in a future upload. Peace. There you go.